Hello viewers of Sounding Board and tonight we're going to talk about the 1991 Glenn Koo models Space Men and Women. What is Space Men and Women? Or Space Men dot dot women? It's a set of Space Men plus Women of, of 1 20th scale plastic figures. They can be used for all kinds of spaceship stuff or if you just collect the old 60s sci-fi plastic toys and these are representations here of the models that you potentially get in this box here. Supposedly the color, they come in different colors and the colors vary but it's really hard to say what colors they, they did make because this is a 1991 set so it's really hard to see what colors they have because all I've got here in this set is a gray and blue guys I mean blue women hey look goofy they got that goofy 60s look they have no hands which is kind of funny some of these guys they got stubs there's another woman right there and an evil robot that says I surrender ooh a gray woman I got this dude I give up don't shoot. I surrender. And this guy. Let's go marching down the road. <laughs> and his sergeant. Where's your helmet, soldier? Where's yours? Oh, wow. Another gray woman. And they're falling all over the place. They don't stand well on this map. But, like I was saying, there's two different color helmets in this collection. There's blue and there's clear. And they fit over these guys' heads like so. Like old 60's Astonishing Tales uh, helmets. Why do I use Astonishing Tales? Because they got that Buck Rogers, Flash Gordon look about him. It's hard to tell if this one here has a busted weapon or some kind of flute in his hand. What about this guy? I'll surrender. Don't hurt me. I give up. It's funny, they even make... These are from 1991, and if you notice, they make the women actually look semi-like women. You know, they have round butts. They have big breasts. Very Egyptian in their face features. That might be the, scu the, the sculptor's choice, because... Even the males have kind of this really strong, how would you put it? They have kind of an Asiatic look to them. You know, very fat Eskimo-like faced, not Caucasian. They're all, they're kind of hyper-realistic. And there's only one villain, the evil robot. Are you supposed to stand him up? And I think because he has flat arms, he was maybe supposed to have one of the maidens in his hand. I'm not really sure. But there's 
uh, from what I can see, there's no repeats in the box whatsoever. Wait, no, there is a repeat. This guy. There's two of that guy. Because I forgot he had a helmet on. And three different type of women. One robot. And then 12 space army men. Which looked like they were probably designed to have other parts attached to them down the road. Like this guy here who's missing, who's got a stump for a hand. Like maybe he was planned to have something that inserts onto that hand. Because there's, there's a couple of those guys this way. Like this guy even has kind of that stumpy like hand. And this guy has two of them. It's as if they plan for like the helmets come off weapons that go onto those parts that were never produced maybe because the set never took off and I've never seen it the first time I seen it was doing some archaeology for a friend and I go I should do a video about these because these are really different looking if I could get them to stand right they don't stand too well maybe it's just material that they're standing on but they fall real easy like dominoes because maybe it's because they have small little feet and they don't have the bases like the green army men which keeps them upright in any position you know some of them have a little bit more flatter feet than others but other than that like this guy he has no that's flask that's supposed to be broken off so yeah they where actually they have really stumpy feet and have to be on a really really flat surface just to stand but I kinda dig on them because they got that 60's sci-fi look to them they look they, may, they, they, they kinda have like I said that 60's 50's sci-fi look that amazing stories had Oh, there's four women. I forgot. There, there's the fourth one. She's already standing. Yeah. Uh, man, I hate these things now. Can the robot wear a helmet? No, his head is too big. But, until next time, this is the sounding board, signing off.